welcome Virgo. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with it in the minute using shadow healing, cosmic reading cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get stuck in, shall we Virgo? Two cards for Virgo please, three actually, sorry, three cards for Virgo. Better request the right amount, right? Okay, so, thank you. Alrighty, that was easy. Now, frustration. Restart from the very beginning and scrap everything already tried. The answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. Okay. Deception. Deception can have long-term effects on a person's soul. However, we need to be more careful about those we place our trust in. Not every, everyone deserves this respect. True. Alrighty. Anguish. Simply knowing there is an end to this feeling of sorrow is the very beginning of your healing process. Okay, so I just wonder if some of you have been feeling like I mean, I know there's deception here, but I feel like it actually goes deeper than that. Let's find out. Let's find out. Frustration. Two cards for Virgo, please. Restart from the very beginning and scrap everything already tried. The answer to moving beyond, beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. And I feel like irritation is a, a massive understatement. Um, Okay, for argument's sake, we'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, I feel like it certainly goes a lot deeper than that for you, Virgo. But let's have a look. One more card for frustration, please. First card here we have is unconditional love. Interesting. Virgo. Ha, saved it. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. What does that look like to you, Virgo? Have a really good think about that. What that looks like to you. Unconditional love doesn't mean putting up with rubbish from people. I'll tell you that much. I feel like the people we need to have unconditional love for the most is ourselves. And particularly our inner child. something that I have a feeling some of you don't really pay too much attention to potentially unconditional love and I don't mean that as a criticism it can be sometimes a matter of putting a reminder in our phone or a reminder a note somewhere around our house to remind ourselves to pay attention to our inner child or the inner adult, adult the inner teenager that person who once was really hurt who once was deceived in such a massive way, it's stuck with us, okay? So, one more card for unconditional love. For Leo, here we go. Everything's landing on the table right now. I'm really happy about this, because in Leo's reading, it went. they were flying all over the shop. Okay, so, we have schizophrenia here. Um, and first of all, this is... Um, rising above your emotions, I feel, but there's the sense of vulnerability, which is really quite strong, um, and I feel like some of you feel like you're just hanging on the edge here, hanging on the edge, and you're about to lose the plot, um, and it may feel like you're actually going to fall, it's like you're just hanging on by a string. By a really thin string and I do want to say to you to pour unconditional love into yourself to stop the criticisms stop beating up on yourself stop being so harsh on yourself here Virgo and actually let yourself be because I really think you are the the 
most critical that then anyone could ever be, right? And we have this card here, which is choices. Yeah, see, you have a choice in everything you do. You also have a choice in the way you speak to yourself, the way you deal with yourself. You have a choice in the way you nurture yourself. You know, at the end of the day, you'll be more productive if you're actually being kind and loving to yourself, okay? As opposed to um, berating yourself, right? That doesn't, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. You may think it does, right? But if you try actually being kind to yourself, you'll achieve more, okay? You'll, you'll feel more uplifted. Your vibration will be higher and you'll attract more positive energy around you through people you meet and places you go and situations that you encounter. Okay, so two cards for choices for Virgo, please. Okay, three cards there. We'll go with three. Wow, this is, this is, yeah, wow. Yeah, so here's the difference here. Look at this, it's beautiful. Oh, Virgo, this is so nice. Look at the energy here. Look at this calmness, right? This calmness, this is the choice that you have of being conscious, you know, going beyond the illusions, not being in this illusion of berating yourself, it's actually going to help you, right? Going into the silence of your consciousness to take yourself out of this, um, this mind muck, right? This is a much better choice. Make a good choice because this here is only this frustration, okay? And you see none of that here. None of it whatsoever, okay? So this is the choice you have, right? Go and have a look for meditations, find, do breathing exercises, right? Um, yoga, anything that you can find. It could be working out, um, you know, it could be dancing, uh, anything to release this frustration, okay, inside you, and even guilt, okay? Anything to help you shake and shift this energy which is keeping you in limbo and stopping you from moving forward, right? Next card we have here is deception, okay? Is this you deceiving yourself, believing that, oh, if only I do this to myself, if I am hard on myself, I'll, I'll never let up and I'll always be striving ahead. But you can still do that and achieve what it is you want to achieve by being kind to yourself. Two cards for deception for um sorry not for Virgo please not Leo I don't know why Leo popped up then you're definitely in these cards Virgo don't worry about that but it could be some of you have Leo in your placement in your birth chart so go and have a look at that reading if you feel called to you could also be dealing with the Leo okay so deception can have long term effects on a person's soul however. We need to be more careful about those we place our trust in. Not everybody deserves this respect. Sorry, not everyone deserves this respect. Exactly. That is so, so, so true. And maybe you're beating yourself up about trusting someone in the past. And, you know, maybe you were deceived and you're like, why was I such a fool? Why did I fall for that? Uh, you know, it could be time actually to forgive yourself. Okay. Okay. Um, because, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about forgiveness and um, some t and I found in, in my years on this earth that forgiveness of the self is most important and the most effective. Two cards have gone on the floor here, Virgo. We've passed the stage of it all landing on the table. We've progressed. Let me pick them up. Okay, so the first card we have here is communication yep um i feel like it's really important for you to give yourself a voice okay and it's not that you have to go and confront people or um get nasty about stuff but it's really to um become clear you know open those lines of communication become clear on what it is that you need make sure your boundaries are set you know as, as you um release all this um this frustration from your mind you become clear on what you will tolerate and what you won't. Deception is one of those things. And maybe you'll become more clear on being able to pick that up in people when they are behaving in a deceiving way. 
okay um when you're sure about you virgo then your um intuition is going to ring the alarm bells when something's out of whack and you may not even necessarily know what that something is but it's still important to listen to those alarm bells okay communication and it's important to then you know tread carefully until you know exactly what's going on right okay so communication okay so we have turning in here turning in I mean, like definitely go into meditation here okay um go into meditation <sighs> really really important for you to also use meditation to not just um just to calm yourself but to also manifest what it is that you want to to live as if you already have it okay if you want um some people in your life who are honest who are not deceiving imagine that that is already happening for you not only that though virgo live your life in that same uh same way okay so that all that you have around you is honesty authenticity and truth okay and then that way um that is what you will attract but there is definitely um from what i'm seeing here there is um i feel like a lack of truth in your life whether that's from you and not expressing how it is that you feel um or other people in your life not actually giving you the truth okay and that could even simply be expressing how they feel okay then um yeah it's it's time for you to actually uh visualize a new life for yourself um and 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 be active in creating that okay because this is a sacred journey that you are on here this isn't just a, a general lifetime. This is quite a, um, a powerful journey. For those of you who are listening here, you are actually quite... I just want to say that there's something different about you anyway. Put it that way. Um, there's... Let me, give me more about the sacred journey here. Give me more. It's kind of like... Two cards for Sacred Journey for Virgo. It's kind of like you're creating a different timeline. Or at least there's an opportunity to create a different timeline. And so doing this work gives you the ability to do that. Okay. Yeah. See? Wow. Yeah. Look at this. You've got, you've got, you've got new beginnings for sure. Beginning of a new truth. Beginning of something new and passionate, right? Rising above, rising above. You know, like these, these two here, right? Rising above, not being afraid of what is to come here. Making the choice with confidence, empowering yourself to go forth with um, surety. And knowing that you have the ability to live a life which is powerful. Um, you have the ability to empower yourself. Because the fact of the matter here, Virgo, is that you are. You have the ability to tap into the creator, the truth of who you are, right? The source, right? However you want to view that, okay? That is within you, right? The consciousness okay this is something that you can utilize to help lead your way okay and then that will um you know you'll be more sure when you walk forward in your path and you won't be so afraid of the deception that comes from human beings okay because you what you're going to have on your side is awareness is consciousness and you're going to be able to tap in to the highest source of light to help guide your way you'll be able to tap into your intuition and that is not going to deceive you okay the thing that can deceive us is our mind okay but the thing that will not deceive us is our intuition and our heart 
Follow your heart, Virgo. Follow your heart. That doesn't mean the path is going to always be smooth and not bumpy at all. But it means that it's going to lead you down the right track for you, for your soul's journey, for the sacred journey that you are on. Okay? Anguish. Simply knowing there is an end to this feeling of sorrow is the very beginning of your healing process. Yeah, see, and this is it, right? Understanding that you have the power to create whatever it is that you want to create and go in whichever direction you want to go in, okay? It's it's all in your power here, Virgo. Anguish, two cards for Virgo, please. For anguish. Don't like that. It wasn't definite enough. These ones are trying to run away on me. <laughs> okay. Two cards for anguish. For Virgo, please. Here we go. First card out here. One more card for anguish. Nice. Compassion. First card up here under anguish is compassion. Compassion for yourself, right? When you have compassion for yourself, you have compassion for others, okay? Doesn't mean you need to go and um, wrap your arms around anyone who's hurt you and um, deceived you. But um, I think compassion for yourself, first and foremost, is the biggest thing here. And not blaming yourself for not seeing what you didn't see. Two cards for compassion, please. By giving yourself compassion, this will help you grow, okay? Playfulness, getting out and having some fun. Allowing yourself to get out and have some fun, right? Playfulness brings you out of the isolation, right? This is it. I think it's really important for you to release because um, you've been hiding yourself away for so long to protect yourself here, Virgo. So, And that came up in Leo's reading, which is really interesting that I even remember that. So go and look at that reading because I think maybe it could help you. But, you know... Um, by releasing the emotions that you have felt and um, being deceived, by releasing the frustration and the anguish here, um, you then mount the ice that keeps you um, locked away, okay? You then become more transparent and able to have some fun and able to see the joy in things and able to have compassion for yourself, right? It's up to you to create the change. It's up to you to be the change that you want to be, okay? We have two tens here. And this is the ending, okay, and the beginning, all right, um, all rolled into one. And the fact of the matter that even though there's change occurring and these new beginnings occurring, what is always constant and what is always centered within you is the consciousness and the source of who you truly are. And when you become conscious of the source within you, Virgo, you will excel okay so gratitude gratitude okay so one more card for gratitude wow holy heck let me get this card on the floor having gratitude for everything around you we have the creator here and abundance like i don't even know like, how much more we could have here? Like, look at these cards, man. This is absolutely beautiful, right? Source, silence, beyond illusion, right? You've got all these cards. Source, consciousness, abundance, the creator turning in, right? The creator, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is the creator within you. The creator that created you. And you've been the creator of your life. Okay? Leading to abundance in all things. Okay? Because you've got this new beginning of truth. You've got this new beginning in something very passionate here. Getting creative. Okay? And, and the best way to do that is to have gratitude for everything that you have. And even... Getting to the stage where you have gratitude for what you have experienced, for that has got you here to where you are now. And it's given you the lessons that have given you the ability to help you grow. 
So these are all things, although they've been hard to go through, they are all things to be grateful for. And as you go along that journey and travel your path, always have compassion for yourself because you are totally worth it. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.